Hi and welcome back. If you're new to the channel, my name is Vince. Thanks for stopping by. You're very welcome here indeed. So according to a new study published in the journal Aging, exercise may be able to remove senescent cells, but only if acute inflammation is allowed to occur. Inflammation is known to be a critical part of the aging process and its chronic accumulation has been labeled as a hallmark of aging and is more commonly called inflammaging. The senescence associated secretory phenotype, SASP for short, is a cocktail of compounds that senescent cells emit and is a key contributor to inflammaging and it drives other cells towards becoming senescent. And there are links in the description below to the studies and articles I used to put this presentation together. However, there is published evidence that some inflammation works in the other direction. Senescent cells can be removed by immune cells known as macrophages and immune system based therapies have been investigated for their therapeutic use. Researchers have in the past reported that P16 INK4A, a well known marker of cellular senescence, decreases in young men 24 hours after high intensity exercise. Moderate exercise, however, did not have the same effect. They hypothesized that even though chronic inflammation encourages senescence, acute inflammation that results in CD11B positive immune cells entering tissues conversely discourages it. The researchers recruited a dozen young men with an average age of 22 who had no history of smoking or drug use to test their hypothesis. Half of the participants were given 400 milligrams of the anti-inflammatory medication ibuprofen and the other half were given a placebo. The participants cycled at high intensity for 20 seconds and then took a 20 second rest and they did this 15 times. Their muscles were biopsied before the exercise and then again three hours and 24 hours after the exercise. After three hours, mRNA expression of P16 Inc 4A was decreased in both of the groups, although significantly more in the placebo group, suggesting that the anti-inflammatory effect was also preventing the clearance of the senescent cells. This trend continued at the 24 hour point too. However, not all participants responded in the same way, and some participants had significantly more P16 Inc 4A at the beginning of the experiment when compared to others. Interestingly, CD11B was also decreased by exercise at a similar rate to P16 Inc 4A. The results were also attenuated or reduced by ibuprofen administration. CD11B was found to be directly related to P16 Inc 4A expression in the tissue. There was also a trend towards greater expression of the DNA damage marker YH2AX. This was after three hours in the ibuprofen group. And there was less expression 24 hours after, but these were deemed to be not statistically significant. The researchers note that the total amount of exercise needed to get the observed effects was very low and conducted only in short bursts. Only 10 minutes of exercise resulted in an effect. And these were then diminished over the course of a full day. Please bear in mind that this experiment was conducted solely on a relatively small cohort of young men, so it's unknown if these results are applicable to older people or even women. There was no follow-up to determine the long-term effects. The markers CD11B, P16 Inc 4A and YH2AX were the only markers that were used. There are other senescent biomarkers, but these were not utilized in this study. A significant amount of future work will need to be conducted to determine if these results apply to other populations and to see if these findings can be used to develop therapeutic treatments or call for a reduction in anti-inflammatory use when exercise is also taking part. Let me know what you think about this study in the comments section below. Personally, I'm not too impressed. It seems to be yet another small study, just 12 in the cohort over a 24 hour period conducted in young, fit, healthy men to measure a marker, that being senescent cells, that are more relevant or important to the age community who are more often than not unfit and unhealthy.